Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to create your own programming language. Um, and t to be able to also implement it, I'm going to be using VB. Uh, to d give you just sort of an example of how a very simple programming language um, interpreter is written, and um, I mean this is not a compiler, so it w it will not show you how you produce CXEs and compile code into binary and all that, but it will show you how to create your own scripting language. And in this this video will probably be very long, so it'll probably be split up into multiple parts. Um, basically, this part will just cover how you um, tokenize all the commands in your language so that you can uh, add com what commands you want and be able to process them. Um, so, well, I'll begin by creating a standard exe in uh, VB6. And it'll automatically create a new form, but because this is an interpreter, we're not going to be using a uh, form right away, so we just want a module. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to come over here and uh, remove this form. And then I'm going to add in a new module. And I'll just name it mod main, or you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure you don't name it main because if you do it'll have a conflict with sub main and it'll return an error um, so now that you've done that um, just go up to your project menu and make sure that startup object is set to sub main um, and then we begin coding in here um, so I'm gonna start out by doing option explicit because that automatically uh, tells VB that I want to use that I'm going to be explicit in defining all my variables um, it's good to do uh, because I don't know I think it provides less overhead or something like that yeah I d I've just heard that it's a good thing to do so I'm going to do it the next step is to create two variables um, one, uh, both of them being string variables, but one is an array of strings. Um, so I'll create the first one, call it PRG, and then I'll create the second one, um, now those two variables, well, the first variable, PRG, will be holding, um, the program before it's tokenized, so just the entire program as one string. The second one will be an array containing each word inside of the program so that it can be parsed with a, a switch statement later on, and I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Um, but I'm going to begin by making um, my sub main and then making two other subs um, to process this, so I'll start doing that. And for now, I'll just leave this part blank. Temp is just going to be a temporary variable to hold um, each line as I use the line input statement. You'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Um, I'm going to use uh, the open command to open a file on drive B. Uh, drive B because that's um, the drive that I use for temporary files. It's a RAM disk. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Okay, so basically I just open the file with the open statement, and then I use a while loop, um, while not EOF1, 
basically that uh, EOF stands for end of file. So it's basically saying, well, um, the end of file in file number one is not reached. It's going to continue to loop. So that's what that is for. Okay, so now you can see that I've closed the file, and I'm adding a replace command. Basically, the replace command uh, finds all the tabs, as you can see, VB tab, finds all the tabs in the file and replaces it with um, a null string, which is just emptiness. So basically, what it's doing is it's just removing all the tabs from the file. Um, this is useful in the future because you're probably going to have people indenting parts of their code, and you don't want that to interfere with the... Uh, um, parsing of the language, so that's why I'm doing this right now. Okay, so I just added a line, um, full program equals split PRG space. Basically what that does is it just splits the um, this program as it's stored inside of PRG and splits it up um, by space. So it basically scans for every space in the file and puts it each puts each word into an array called full program. So you can access each element um, one at a time. Um, the next part is subinterpret. This is the part um, where later on you'll be adding your code for to add your co your own um, uh, commands to your language. Uh, but for now, I'll just be using a message box to display uh, the the f words one at a time. Okay, so for the interpret, um, that's basically it for now. As you can see, I'm just looping uh, through the program and uh, displaying each element of it. Later on, what you'll be doing is you'll be adding, you'll be removing this message box and adding a switch statement which where you can add your own commands in. Uh, but from now, I'll just call both of these subs and test it out with a test file that I'll make. Okay, so now I'll go into Notepad and just make a test file here.
Okay, so now I'll just run the program and see what happens. And there we there we go. We start out with the first word. As you can see, um hold on, I got to open it again. See? So it just steps through and just steps through each word. So later on what we'll be doing is just adding um a switch statement down here like I said. Um so that's it for this part of the tutorial. Um I hope you enjoyed it and uh subscribe to my channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching.